Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is the Big Blue Blob playthrough episode 10 of, uh, you know, the Millennium of a Making Game thingy. What's it? Let's get going. So we're France, we're at war with Great Britain and the Pope in separate wars. As you can see, we're chomping out Great Britain, and, uh, well, it's only a matter of time before the Pope dies. And by dies, I mean, you know, becomes our bitch. We do need to integrate somebody, and it is probably going to have to be Elenia. Probably. Maybe it will be Nubia. 221 for Elenia. 273 for... Nubia, but we can only do Nubia in six years' time. We lost one point of stability. You just get that back. Yeah, let's just get that back. Now, we actually wanted to buy our new rank of military tech. Let's do that. Done. Now we can get artillery. One of the two, we're going to go for the um, offensive one, the large cast bronze mortar. Um, I think about currently maybe three artillery per would do it. Let's have a look. Four artillery would get us a plus two bonus. Okay, four artillery per army. it cans overseas it does not beautiful one two three four one two three four so those guys taken care of one two three four one two three four uh, where are our other armies that matter we are going to put it in every army but just for the moment ones that matter one, two, three, four. Yep, in here. That'd be nice. Let's just do it this way, it'll be easier. Okay, sorted. You guys. Here. One, two, three, four. Alright, uh, you guys are already taken care of. You guys. Thank you very much. Which army was that? Probably this one in Cadiz. Yep. You guys. You guys are taken care of. You guys are not being taken care of, and neither are you guys. One, two, three, four, there. And let's just say one, two, three, four, there. So that was the army in Rom. Whoops. Only need four units, guys. Come on. Be fair. This is much easier, actually. Was it the Valencian army? Tunis? Yeah, you guys could use some. Whoops, not that. That's odd. Okay, so it's Lubeck Army. Meef is being taken care of. Gwinnett is being taken care of. Karabar is not. Don't care too much about the timing. It is important to get these goddamned artillery dudes. Without artillery, your sieges will just take forever. And honestly, they help out a lot. That was Basra. Where was Basra? There we are. Yorkshire is taken care of. Galan is not. Whoops. Don't want men at arms. We want large cast iron mortars. Fifth Army. Fourth Army in Lundberg. Fifty fourth Army in Provence. Fifty fifth in Kenna. Alright, oh, they were landlocked, weren't they? 
Well, I guess I'll just make them the four guys here and we'll eventually get them over. So that was the guys in Kenna. Munchen! Now you guys can actually have ten. Now we haven't looked at the um, current width of our armies because uh, our armies, I don't believe, are big enough at this stage to actually have that matter. Now this one's a bit tricky because we've got supply limits to worry about. I'm going to build four over here and we'll work it out later. Okay, so that was the sixth army. Those guys are being taken care of. And the ninth army is fine. Alright, back into it. I mean, if we look at the current width of our armies, we're at combat width 9, which means we should technically have 9 artillery, and that would be good. Oh, I don't care. If we had 9 artillery, then that would fill up the back row, and we would be fine at that point. But I feel that 3 will be fine for the moment. Oh, Volga Bulgaria just declared war on Perm. Do you want us to help out, bro? Can we? Call me in. Please. Ah, but first let's tell the Pope to go fuck himself. Now, the Pope, we're going to vassalize. Yep. Alright, so that's gained does 25 diplo and admin power. That's wonderful. Um, we do have too many diplomatic relations, that's okay. We have the opportunity to get a presence in India, 10 prestige, conquer Rashid, 10 prestige and admin power, or take Rashid, which gives us 10 prestige and 25 administrative power. We also may now invest in Quest of the New World. Done. And what we will do now is build a few boats. I basically want the fastest boats possible, which are barks. That's combat stuff. You know what, we probably want some early characters, so let's just get five of these things. And these ones we will buy using the quick finder. Ah, four will do. Good. Pope is now our bitch. Which is fine. This fleet can come down here. For I believe it... We no longer have a truce of Egypt, which is wonderful. Egypt, who are you allied with? Persia and Mali. I don't believe Persia will take over the war. The war for... Now we're just going to try and take Pelham, which is... That one up top? Really? Little weird, guys. take something over here, or did we just have a battle and win it? Four percent overextension. When we take Gwynedd and Lancashire, we'll see what we're up for. There's Gwynedd. And, you know, we'll also take some other stuff, just just to provide more war score quicker. We're already at 85% though, so it's not like it matters too much. Now the danger is that they'll send this army in to just try and wipe up our artillery that we've just made. So we do want to be a little bit cautious about what they do here. 
you know, it's kind of a dick move that the AI would play on you. So I might actually move those guys over to Cornwall to get them out of the firing line. We do have some heretics rising up. Quite a few, actually. It's alright, we'll deal with that. All in good time. Heretics everywhere! Just crush this fucking army. Oops, no, not you guys. You guys stay in there. Thank you. Peace offer. No. I don't want anything that costs me diplomatic power. Wouldn't make any sense. Well, not you. You can stay right there. You can go up here. You can go to Oxfordshire. If I can avoid having to take London, that would be nice. Okay, that's Lancashire, actually, so we might be pretty much done. Hang on, all of our guys have finished fabricating claims, so we've got to set them back again. Uh, what was it? Shirvan? And probably Mecca. Yeah, I don't care about those ones. Ah, oh, Mauritania would actually join in that war. Um, yes, then. Let's get our goal on here, and our goal will actually be to take Rashid. guy down into Cairo. Take out this army. Get this army to move up. So 3rd of February, 13th and 5th. Move these guys into there so that they'll stop their move. Good. Got him. Perfect. Up here these guys can come down to the Gerba. Let's gather up these armies like they should be. Jeez, I'm glad I found that hotkey. has finally arrived with some dudes. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. Oh yeah, because Nubia will also help out. 
should have an unlock. Good. These are heretics. Alright, England, I think it's finally time to negotiate. So, I want Leinster. I want these three places. I want Cumbria. I want that one. Oh, they won't give me everything, will they? That's what I would like, if it's what I've got claims to. But they will not give it all to me. Which is annoying, because it means I won't get this sort of coastal passage. If I take out Leinster, that doesn't help. Take out Aberdeen and Fife, that also doesn't help. But then if I also take out Leinster, that will give me that. That'll be nice. Hundred and four percent overextension though, and I've already got four. Fuck it. Go hard or go homeless. Okay, and we need to remove that siege from Airshear. ASAP. But yeah, quite nicely done actually. This can go there. Remove the leader. You guys need a leader. Save that force and go up there. Alright, real. Great Britain have uh, entered a military coalition against us. Not gonna help you. Oh, but of a more important note, our ships are ready. Apparently, the British did not appreciate it, and now there's some rebel sentiment going on. That's fine. It's probably just the overextension kicking is in the junk. We'll handle it. Great Britain are no longer a rival for us. That's a problem, but at least we're at 61 power projection. We do have a slot for a rival though, so as soon as we get out of this war with Egypt, we will hopefully be able to select one. On that note, no. Nope, can't send anybody for another few days. Now we will support the Alliance of the Nationalists. Okay, Battle for Airshare is over. I'm going to get rid of one of these guys in one of these armies. Just because I need an explorer and I cannot afford more diplomatic penalties or any penalties. So I'm going to get rid of Wolfram Kuno. And I'm going to hire an explorer. Jacques. Jacques Amengard. Who will Ooh, Africa or America? We do have the New World as a, um, like a randomized New World, which I understand may be shit. So let's just head on down this way a little bit. Go into Terra Incognita down there. Ah, oh, we got found out in Arabia. Lame. So 
It's all right. We'll manage it. Honestly, not too concerned about this war. Let's give these guys a leader so that they can actually contribute to sieges a little bit. Yeah. Our allies are helping us out majorly here. Where's my fleet? This fleet here. Bring it down to help out. Oh, that was pretty good. So keep on coming around. You know what? Just do big sweeps. That'd be nice. So no, keep on coming down the coast. The coast is easy. Heretics! Led by a 1-5? What the fuck? No. Okay, Rashid is down. Ah, oh, good. If we can get what we want out of this, and hopefully our extension goes away shortly, then I will be very pleased. Mali joined in the war against us. That's fine. Mali is actually now leader of the war and Egypt, no not Egypt, Persia have been called in. How unfortunate for you Persia. Because I am war leader and I will take what I want. Smash. 21st, 19th, perfect. Mali, I don't particularly give a shit about. Okay, now we're suffering some attrition, so that could be an issue. The colony is too far away. Hmm. Good work, lads. What side do you go down there? In particular, this is a very good war because um, Mali is heading it, so Persia can't call in Volga Bulgaria. Which is honestly perfect for us. It just doesn't get much better. Okay. We don't have a conquistador, so that is somewhat irritating, but it's just something we'll just have to maintain. I am fully willing to let this fleet die, by the way. All they're doing is exploring for me. And by exploring, I mean, you know, letting us know what we know about Africa already. Lost 25 prestige, probably due to the overextension. <sighs> I may regret it. But not currently. Hey, there we go, we've got some more land there that we can see. Still way too far away. Hey, we colonized Mediera. Off you go. No natives, it's a freebie. And that will probably give us a colonial range to reach um, Cape Verde. 
which would be perfect. Siege of Cairo, done. Okay, guys, um, well, this army can head up this way and assist. What are we going to Karabar for? To besiege it, apparently. Alexandria is all that army can actually do the assist. This army here can just fucking sit on the coast. Good. Back to bay. Everything else is blockaded, so that doesn't matter for shit. Dude's home from Arabia, so let's send him back to Arabia. And yeah, I guess we might as well start putting claims on this stuff around here. I guess. Eh, yeah, why not? Well, who else are we going to put in the claim on? Perm? Perm is gone. Vogelberg area just took Perm. Could support some Permian nationalists, though. Alright, let's do that. It's a little shifty of us, but hey, we can be shifty. Okay, good, Gerba's done. Let's take Tripoli. Actually, hang on. You guys wait. Get this army down here. One stability or 50 prestige. One stability, guys, come on. Hey, we found Congo. Perfect. We have diplomats. We cannot. No, we cannot establish a protectorate. But what we can do is ask for fleet basing rights. They will accept. So, what I will do is get these guys and dock them, heal them up. Who's one stability or 30, 30 legitimacy? That's fine. It'll come back real quick. And then we can dock them in Luango, get them all rested up. Things will be great. Shivan's over. That's good. That's good. I wonder if Mali will just peace out. I don't have any diplos. There we go. Mali will just white peace out. I've actually got a 23%. Oh no, no, no. Mali is the war leader, so we can't get rid of them. We need to get rid of Persia. Then we can get rid of Mali. But by doing that, we'll be ending the entire war. Yeah, we're really going to have to deal with Volkabulk area at some point. Which is irritating. Because they're mainly Persian allies. Oh well. We'll see. That's fine. Esfahan successfully besieged. Currently moved to Yazd. I 
really can't wait for those to damned shit to go away. Gloucester is almost ours. 16th of September. That will be really handy. We need to stop these guys from joining up with them. Okay, guy is back from Persia, which means we've got another claim fabricated on them. Do have some heretics. That's not a problem for us. Um, Arabia. No, we weren't fabricating more claims on you, were we, bro? Where were we going to fabricate claims on? Great Britain? Sure, why not? Um... London's still their capital, right? Yeah, so we'll just go for the Midlands. So that'll be marches. And uh, that's actually the end of the episode. So, as usual, questions, comments, you know, you know the drill. Let's our guys out to Mizander. And, yes, I have been sub. You have been yourselves. Later!